Hi, today I'll show you how to change spoke on a Campanile Aeros wheel and also from Fulcrum because that's actually the same brand and the same factory who does them. That's just a brand for Campanile wheels to put on other bikes that are not equipped with the rest of the Campanile components. Uh, why it's so special? For a simple reason, as you can see, there is just one hole in the rim for a valve and we don't have any spoke holes. The spokes, the nipples, even though they protrude like from the normal rim. So to do that, we will need <coughs> a special technique that requires a magnet, a strong magnet, a small magnetic bolt, and of course, we need a new spoke with the nipple, some tape to hold the bolt in the nipple, so we'll be able to guide it. 9mm Torx, that's T9, sorry that's not 9mm, it's just T9, size T9 Torx. To undo the collar. Some bad. That might be useful. And of course, Campanello nipple driver. A special wrench for the Campanello nipples. So, <clears throat> first of all, with the Torx 9, we have to undo bolts that secure the collar that holds the spokes in a hub flange. There we go. Remove the broken spoke. And now we have to remove the rest of the spoke and the nipple. There you go, that's done right now. Not to spend too much time trying to retrieve the nipple, we're gonna already start using the gluing tape. So you get a part of it, you just put it around, because well, my bolt is a small diameter, uh, and it will fall off. So, it's, uh, it keeps inside, and now, Using a magnet, they're really strong, they stick to everything. You just push the nipple in to the rim. Come on. There you go. Now it's rumbling inside. And what I do with a magnet, I catch the bolt that we just stuck into the nipple and slide it if you're gonna get it directly the hole there you go for the valve and we just pulled out the old nipple now to fit a new nipple <coughs> that comes with a new spoke we're gonna do the same thing but in reverse order. So, a new nipple, bolt that goes in, and now I have to stuff it through the valve hole. I get my magnet down, so it moves where I want, and now, as you can see, Magnet is stuck because the bolt attracts it, or rather, magnet attracts the bolt. So that way, I'm gonna guide it to the hole where. Where's that? There you go. Where we lost the spoke. There you go it downwards and now 
with that much problem. Ah, oh, shit. There you go. I just pulled out the nipple and the bolt. Now there's the tricky part, because you have to hold it both. You get the bolt with the magnet. And first of all, slightly shredding the spoke so the nipple doesn't fall into the ring. You clip the spoke in a hub Come on. Come on, there you go. Tighten it slightly with the campanello wrench. Just a little bit. So the nipple doesn't come off the spoke accident by accident. There we go. And now, <coughs> reinstall the collar. And you're done. Next step is just through the wheel. There you go. That's how we replace a spoke on a campanile of full chrome wheels when you don't have any nipple holes.